Hello, hello. Welcome to the world of vampire. So, this is the new Don't Nod joint. That's out, those are the fine folks that brought us Life is Strange a couple years back. Um, I guess they put out a new season too. Um, what's up, Derek? What's up, Psycho? Um, we're checking out Vampire. So, uh, game's out tomorrow. Embargo lifted earlier today. And um, we'll start by doing our due diligence. This is a PC version. Um, so, right off the bat, sweet um, controller mouse cursor. I'm using a gamepad on PC. I know I'm a terrible person. Um, video stuff, we'll go through real quick. Um, that's just, that's nonsense. All your video settings, uh, I got everything running on Ultra, except for six times anti-aliasing, it's not really necessary. Um, I'll say right off, so I'm going to get the negatives out of the way here. Um, I'm not really sure what people are expecting from this game. For me, I was um, expecting something different than what this game is turning out to be um, and we'll just jump right into it does the B button actually bring you back yeah the B button yeah the B button is back yeah yeah I mean it, it works fine with a controller it's a good uh, controller based game um, I haven't tried it with the mouse and keyboard yet so I'm about five, six hours in, and um, I think I've figured out exactly what this game is. Um, so if you're going in expecting a um, kind of tight controlling uh, action RPG, it probably isn't what you're gonna get out of this. Um, this is not Dark Souls or Bloodborne, even though some of the imagery is reminiscent of that. Um, there is combat. It's, in my opinion, pretty flat, pretty rudimentary combat. Doesn't feel particularly great. Um, there's no stealth at all from what I can gather. Um, at least not yet. I don't think there's going to be. Um, it is an RPG, so there's obviously the chance that I'll unlock some abilities later on that will allow me to um, get stealthier, but there is no crouch, there's no duck, there's no sneak or anything like that. Um, it's basically when you get into the combat areas, you walk into an area, there's some enemies there and you have to fight them, uh, melee, one-on-one -on -one sort of deal. Um, and when you're not in combat zones like I am right now in this hospital, this seems to be what the game is actually about. Um, let's go to the menu. Not that menu, this menu. So it is open world game. This is like uh, plague stricken London. Uh, so what's going on is uh, it seems to be post World War II London and there is a plague going on, kind of like the Black Plague, except in this case, it's uh, vampirism. People are turning into vampires and all sorts of evil vampire-related things. Um, and you spend most of your time, at least right now, in this hospital that um, is kind of like a safe haven for people coming to that are sick, that want to get respite um, from the, the plague that's going on. And you are um, a doctor who, a surgeon specifically, who um, was in the war and got like famous for being a great war surgeon, etc., etc. And now you're at this hospital helping these people out. But spoiler alert, you're also a vampire. Um, Yeah, they call it the Spanish flu, but it's, it's you know, everyone's 
people are turning into vampires, so it's a little bit, um, not, a little bit worse than the Spanish flu. Um, you know, it, it's, it's obviously a little bit alternate history, real history slash, like, taking liberties with what went on here. Um, so the big thing here, and that is on this screen, is um, these are these are the the uh, I guess you're gonna call them burrows that you can go into in the open world, and each one you can see has a set number of characters, and these are all characters that you can talk to and interact with, kind of like. It reminds me a lot of Mass Effect, where you're choosing different dialogue options based on things that they say, and you can have a, um, you can't really have a positive or negative impression with them, like Renegade or Paragon or anything like that, but there are, um, if we click on, we'll talk, we'll talk, look at Thelma here, um, you unlock these clues by talking to them as well as other people that they're associated with. Um, to unlock higher level quality of blood. Um, and you can see here blood quality for Thelma right now is 1750 XP. So if I were to um, decide I wanted to drink Thelma's blood, effectively killing her, um, I would get 1750 XP. Um, I would get more if I unlock this final hint. I would fill out this bar and I would get even more XP. Um, and you do that with each one of these characters. So this is Dr. Thoreau Strickland. I've only unlocked one. His blood's um, about a little bit more than halfway quality. Um, so I wouldn't really want to do anything with him yet because I want to, you know, I want to get some better quality blood out of him. Um, and that seems to be the primary way you get, like, at least big chunks of XP. You get some from combat and completing quests and stuff like that, but um, if you really want to advance, um, you're going to need to do this. And this has actually kind of been what I've been spending most of my time doing in this game, is talking to these people and um, investigating their backstory and um, figuring out who they are and where they fit into the big overall um, world and story which is not what I was expecting from this game so the whole um, angle that they're going for of like every person you choose to kill has an effect like sometimes you you see that on a in, in a on the cover of a box or the back of a box and you're like oh sure I'm, I, I bet that's really accurate but that is actually does seem to be the main crux of this game is um, talking to these people and choosing which ones to kill on the way because um, some of these people if you kill them too early I know for certain you're going to miss out on missions and quests and things like that um, so you you have some real choices to make here um, and yeah these are these are the investigations which are like the little quests I'm on um, so right now for Thelma I am um she she's she's acting like she's a vampire she's not actually a vampire at least i don't think she is that seems to be the angle they're going for um but there are people that are after her that think she like that are that are buying the fact that she is a vampire so i'm trying to investigate that and figure out what's going on there um does the story keep you engaged or does it kind of do what Shadow of War does and leaves you up to your own and the story only is only activated through main quests. Uh, no, the story seems to be the main draw here. Um, so yeah, the ramifications are definitely, that that's what they want you to invest yourself in. And I'm not really sure exactly how far that goes. I mean, I'm sure the more people you kill, the uh, um, you can, we can go back here real quick and you can see your health. So um, this area, Pembroke Hospital, uh, the health is healthy. Um, the more people I kill, the lower this goes. And I'm not really sure 
what happens when this gets really low. It says hostile down here, so that means, I'm assuming it means I can't even chill out and hang around there. Uh, and I guess we'll, we'll figure out that um, as time goes on. So I've got a mission here, talk to the hospital benefactor. Um, I keep hitting the wrong start button. Um, that's going to be here. So let's, let's jump on this quest. Um, so especially in this area, you've got your compass at the top and it looks like the quest is up here. But see, so this is a multi-floor hospital. So I was having a little trouble, like, de determining which level the quest was on. So, like, if the quest giver was on the second floor, um, it would still show it on my compass as right in front of me. Um, is this outside? This looks like it's going to be outside. Yeah, it's outside in that tent. It's still moving. How can we be sure we're making a difference? Honestly, it feels like and kind of looks like a late last generation game, um, in my opinion. It doesn't have that polish that you sometimes see with a lot of um, first and even second party AAA games. The flu took my dear wife. The controls, especially, they're it's a little stiff. We'll soon be Camera again. control and stuff. Mr. Rainfield, that's no way to talk. You're in good hands here, and we'll be up again soon enough. Now do me a kindness and get some sleep. I'll be back round later. Your words are kind, the blessings of an angel. You're the sweet, sweet lady of mercy. Yeah, that makes sense. They would lock down the area and- Good evening, Dr. Reed. You'd kind of be it's screwed. a pleasure to see you again. You seem surprised. So what? Doctor Swansea has brought like me I said, up what to surprised speak me the most was the character depth. Appointment to like, Pembroke Hospital. Like I said, I. It, You're a fan. It's uh, it's it's a lot more life is strange than I thought it would be, her. based on you know the I remember you from trailers the with and Dr. lead up to it. Indeed. Allow me to introduce myself formally this time. My name is Lady Ashbury. I remember you well, in spite of the brevity of our encounter. Apologies. You've taken me by surprise. I'm very happy to see you. The pleasure is mine, Doctor. I hope you're more disposed to answer my questions now. You must have countless questions, but our rather urgent matter first. Swansea has explained. My cover, if you prefer, has been compromised. Dr. Swansea has commissioned me to be your agent in this matter. You could start by explaining what's amiss. These past insufferable weeks, I've been the victim of extortion. I've made a first payment, but the blackmailer grows greedy. I must refuse his most recent demands. Uh, the voice acting has been extremely well done. Um, that's definitely... So let's explore if we're dealing here. with an ordinary um, I've been very criminal, impressed with the voice the acting, to deal with which is yourself, important because, like, I like I said, there's a lot more As immortal tradition um, doth conversation dictate, and character all fans interaction and hypnotic than eyes I thought ablaze. there was going to be. The blood would run like a river. That's what I hope to avoid. Violence has a tendency to spiral out of control. What are your expectations? Please be precise. As the newly appointed surgeon of this hospital, you are in an excellent position to ask innocent questions and deftly learn the identity of my blackmailer. Who would be so foolish as to threaten you, a kindred spirit? 
Even if it were the case, and I highly doubt it, a vampire would have asked for something more valuable than money. My suspicions lean toward a patient or their family. Please continue. Every detail is essential. I'm your man. My embarrassment in this matter is eclipsed only by my shame at having put the hospital at risk. The threat from our anonymous scoundrel is clear. A list of dates. My visits coinciding with the dates of suspicious patient deaths due to massive blood loss. Is it true? Now aren't you the blunt one? Excuse my impertinence, your ladyship. This is not an interrogation. I assure you that this line of questioning is in your best interest. In all honesty, I'm not simply a patron to the hospital. My visits serve a dual purpose. Dr. Swansea has been treating my condition with a revolutionary technique of blood transfusion. It seems you are a specialist in the domain. I'll take care of it. Do you know where I should start? If that was the case, I'd settle the matter myself. You could talk to our local gossip, Harriet Jones. Not a pin drops here without her hearing about it. I'll meet that woman now. My life, as others know, is in your hands, Dr. Reed. I'm sure of your discretion, but I do fear your powers of persuasion will be put to the test. When this is resolved, I'll be your obligé. I'll answer all questions in regards of your condition. All right. There's a lot of this too. Picking, just finding shiny boxes and picking items up out of them. There's crafting. You can craft potions and uh, elixirs and stuff like that. Um, And yeah, I mean, so far, it's kind of been this, you know, I've been running around this hospital, talking to people, trying to unravel exactly what's going on. Um, and there's a couple of interesting, um, it's been a couple of interesting storylines that are unfolding that I'm looking forward to um, delving into. So I get a little bit of XP for that. Um, and that's good because what? it looks like I got enough what? to evolve what is this? so we can check Who out the RPG you? side of things. Get out of my room. There's no need for alarm, madam. I'm Dr. Reed, the new surgeon. Preposterous. Dr. Reed, you say? I don't want some bumbling intern. Where's Dr. Swansea? <laughs> Shut up. I kind of want to do that. Um... Dr. Swansea is quite busy, and I need you to help me get acclimated. I have many questions. Yeah, Lee, that's exactly what. So, uh, Our brain. honestly, the game had kind of a rough first woman. impression because it you know lays on the combat and the, wrong the investigation's a little I'm bit Harry heavy, Jones. and there it's Harry not. Jones. I was like, Indeed. oh, great, another game. I've been with meaning to have a chat. Some sort of special vision. You, know you get like this vampire vision, any other patient and you like follow that. blood trails. I'm like, man, well, how many times have we seen this before? And the combat was a little clunky and not very responsive. I heard like I said, this isn't Bloodborne, this isn't Dark Souls. Was it a um, case of blackmail? In terms of combat. Wait. Um, but then once I got to this hospital and I started actually conversing with people, I found what this game is actually about. And I'm just a little worried that people may be expecting something a little bit different than um, what this game is actually going for. Um, we'll, we'll get into some combat later and you can check it out and, and make your own decisions. Um, it's definitely one of those games where it's like, it's an RPG. It's, it's actually very heavy RPG in terms of character and um, systems and leveling up and stuff like that. Um, and as such, you'll, as, if you venture too far out from your starting area here, you're going to run into 
very high level characters that you can't beat or you can but it's going to be a very hard fight um so they they lay that on a little bit too um i assure you madam this is not an investigation into a possible medical error debauchery then nurses crane hawkins brannigans whores all of them they can't keep their legs shut i've seen them scratching slutty sores really well, if you have irrefutable proof, I'll not have the staff behaving in such a manner here. This is your business, Doctor, not mine. But I swear one of the nurses is cavorting with some man on hospital hours. Thank you for your time, Miss Jones. You've given me something to go on. See you on the next round. Yeah, it seems like a, a slow burn at the beginning anyway. Um, and there, there are these cool little posters everywhere to give the area some flavor. Um, so we're at the hospital, find nurse Pippa Hawkins, find nurse Dorothy Crane, find nurse Gwyneth Banigan. All right. The um, patients and staff might know something. I'll start my investigation with them. So yeah, like I was saying, vampire vision. Uh, you click on the stick and you get this um, vampire vision. And um, it actually is a little bit useful here. Um, you can see where people are, which is very useful. Cause like now I have to find Nurse Hawkins, Crane and Banigan, so. Uh, Brannigan and rather so this will help me find them um, Presumably There's somebody so, so um Swansea is like your your main dude. He kind of like saved you <coughs> Excuse me saved you early on um, and he's kind of like your benefactor right now He's the one that brought you to this hospital. He knows who you are. He knows you're a vampire. Okay. There's Hawkins I'll talk to her uh, not everybody here knows you're a vampire, just to be clear. Uh, so where is this? Here we go. So, Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Yeah, just met dinner, yeah. We'll see what, uh... You have choice to bite everyone or not? <laughs> uh, yeah, so, um... Yes. You, th every single one of these people that you interact with you can choose to um, so this is a, a good opportunity to show this um, just looking at this screen um, I can hit the uh, right trigger and I can see her blood clot blood quality will give me um, 1650 XP she's healthy and I've unlocked one clue um, if I unlock more clues her blood quality will go up um, then on the left trigger we have this mesmerize now in order to um, bite somebody I have to mesmerize them and lead them into a secluded area so I obviously don't bite them in front of a, you know a bunch of people um, so in order to mesmerize somebody you have to be at least their level so she's a three I'm only a mesmerize one uh, so I can't even I can't bite her right now. Um, uh, so she's off the she's <laughs> she's literally off the table, as it were, um, until I I level up my mesmerize ability, um, and then if I hit the the menu, I can get a little bit more in depth um, information. So this is important in order, so presumably in order to get more information on Pippa Hawkins, I would want to talk to Milton Hooks because he's in her social circle. Um, so maybe that would unlock some of these hints and get me better blood quality. Uh, I have not figured out precisely how to increase my mesmerize. Um, How to increase my mesmerize? It's not on the RPG. I don't even know if I can see that here. I'm level eight right now. Power and mesmerize. I, I'm guessing that goes up as you just level up naturally. Um, you can't even see the RPG stuff from this menu. 
Uh, let's see. I'm just gonna go straight for the What can you tell quest. me about the strange man visiting one of the nurses during her shift? Let me guess. You spoke with that old shrew, Harriet Jones. Do not pay attention to her, Doctor. She's full of fanciful tales. She could have been telling the truth about the mysterious man. That old witch will end up in hell soon enough. Who cares if a nurse finds some happiness where she can? No matter how you feel about her, Miss Jones deserves our help. Who says I don't care for her? Hate is what keeps that old crone alive. Jeez, no, nobody likes this bitch. Um, what can you what tell me about the strange man? visiting one of the nurses during her shift. Let me guess. You spoke with that old shrew. Okay, so he, she thinks he she's lying. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying, like the animation and the character, they do look a little old, and like when you get up, now keep in mind this is PC, so it's, you know, in theory the best looking version, um, I just think everything's a little bit too flat, um, it looks like, I don't know, the geometry is very simple, it just looks like an older game, um, it's even kind of a little washed out. Like the colors and stuff, I don't know if that's what they were going for. Um, that that was just my my initial impression of the uh, the quality of the graphics. Like I said, audio is really good, and uh, so is um, voice acting is is excellent, like really really good. So band again. find her she's out around here somewhere I guess this isn't good evening sir so it is true the famous dr. Reed has joined us I can't think of any better news during these terrible times do we know each other actually yes we met once before at the Rockefeller and University this is who I was supposed York. to be talking dr. to dr. Tippett yes I remember I was assisting Professor Carell in his research about coronary bypasses. He had nothing but praise for you. He was also very confident about your future. And look at you now. Eminent surgeon and blood transfusion specialist. So, like, they do a lot here. They... Every character feels... Um... Like, legit. Which is great. Oh, I'm not gonna talk to Goodbye, him right for right now. I think um, let's see if I can find her, wrap up her uh, this Gwendolyn. Where is she? I mean, this area isn't very big. And then I'll show you some of the combat. Harriet Jones. Who's that? There's somebody in the middle there. Melton, Melton's um, grumpy guy. He'll uh, sell you weapons and stuff. Like contraband weapons and whatnot. Is it unknown over there? Unknown. Maybe that's who I'm looking for. Good evening, nurse. Well, I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Reed. The new surgeon here at the Pembroke. Dr. Swansea has already told us about you, sir. I'm Nurse Gwyneth Brannigan. Welcome to the Pembroke Hospital. Did he really? It's a good thing I wasn't hoping to keep a low profile. All members of staff have already read about your new blood transfusion she technique. the side eye here. Dr. Swansea made sure of that. I see. Well, I'm a little surprised. But I suppose I'll just have to deal with this unexpected notoriety. You must know. Blood transfusions are Dr. Swansea's primary subject of research. He is convinced it is the future. Have you seen a strange man 
visiting any of the nurses here. I've never heard of such a thing, Doctor. Okay. Goodbye, nurse. Call me if you need assistance. Okay, so it was, um... Okay, let's go level up. I'll show you the RPG stuff. And then, um... I'll try to get into some combat. So you, like, go to... You have these safe rooms, and in the hospital you have your own office area. Uh, where basically you sleep, and that's where you level up. Yeah, I've seen the reviews, at least on Metacritic, it's like out of 75. Uh, which is probably about w what I was expecting. Um, like I said, it's got some rough edges, but it seems like it's n nailing what it's going for. Which may not be what everybody was expecting it to be. Um, yeah, so here's your RPG. Um, you have these areas you can specialize in. Um, I've been going down this Blood Spear, which is... Um, so each, you'll see under... So, okay. So you got aggressive, you got defensive. Obviously defense, defense, aggressive is attacks. And if you see under claw, the claw icon has a little crossed swords that's um, specifically melee damage the blood spear has a blood drop so that's like blood dark magic damage I guess uh, if you want to call it oh no so that's specifically blood damage and then there's the shadow mist that is this like darkness damage um, and each enemy you encounter will have um, like buffs against certain types of damage so you might come up to an enemy that has a uh, buff that counters melee damage so then you gotta use your blood or dark damage um, so there's a little bit of nuance to the combat like that um, down here there's bite which is um, actually something you do in the middle of combat and you suck blood out of your enemies and that gives you um, basically you've got three meters you've got health you've got stamina and you've got blood um, and the blood can be used for a variety of things for instance if I was going to use this blood spear I would use a little bit of blood for that um, as well as this one body condition no 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 not this um, this yeah so drain your own blood to heal normal and aggravated damage instantly um, so that's like mid combat heal uh, that uses a little bit of blood and there's a little bit of cooldown on it um, honestly what I've been having the biggest problem with has been stamina um, so you see that each thing has a whole list of upgrades um, a lot of them are pretty straightforward you know this is 75 percent endurance this is 60 percent endurance 75 100 115 so on and so forth um, and then like I can't even unlock this until I'm at least level 10 um, but I'm gonna go with some more endurance boost my um, boost my stamina um, so bite, you know, 300% damage, etc. And then this is how much blood you suck, I believe. Increase your life generation, regeneration when using bite in combat. Um, so now here's a branching one. Once I get here, I get 250 healing. Then I can choose, um one of these uh, 300 healing you trade instant health gain for a greater for greater regeneration 
you trade more blood to heal yourself instantly and gain additional boost to your health regeneration. Okay, so this is like over time healing versus instant healing. So yeah, there's a couple of uh, branching paths here. Um, I don't have enough for this. I don't have enough for that either. Tactical spring. You're, you perform a supernatural move to your target and cause damage upon landing. Hmm. I don't think I'm ready to try anything new yet. I'd like to just kind of feel out what I got. Increase your blood absorption using bite in combat. That's good. That's what I want. Uh, yeah, let's upgrade this twice. I use that a lot. Okay. Um, and then we confirm it. And he sleeps during the day because he's a vampire. Then he'll wake up the following night. And that's when your... Um, repercussions are displayed so I um, killed this guy and now I've gone down from healthy to stable Pembroke Hospital the prices and stocks of merchants in this district may have changed okay so yeah my mesmerize is still level one I wonder if that grows up one every ten levels. Um, I guess we'll see. All right, let's get get into some combat here. Um, so I was initially going down this route. Um, this is the wrong target quest that I have on the side there. Seal reports leading to the Pembroke. Oh no, it just went away. Um, Pembroke Hospital. Um. So, I'm going to go this way first. I might come back to this thing. There's a really strong enemy up there. You can hear him screaming. Um, he kicked my ass. I should be able to take these guys on now. So, um, I was kind of expecting some stealth. Like, I'd be able to sneak up on these guys. But that's just not the case. Um, you can kind of, like, stay out of their periphery and kind of sneak up on them. Um, Yeah, I don't see it. So there's a dodge. Melee. This guy's got two of these guys with guns. He's gonna kick my ass. They, they are a little bit over level. As you can see, he's a 12 and he's a, an 11. Um, whoops. Whoop. So I'm gonna try to stun this guy. Oh! He killed me. So like the real problem I have with the combat is I just don't feel it's responsive. I don't feel like the hits I'm making are satisfying. Um, I don't feel like I know, um, I don't feel confident that when I press the button, the action I want to have happen is going to have happen in a timely manner, um, and exactly how I want it to happen. Um, so I'm going to stun this guy, then I'm going to bite him to get some blood. 
does a little bit of damage, but what it really does is give me blood. Um, This guy wasn't doing this to me last time. the guy I expect him to like react to it not just take the hit and then immediately hit me back combat um, obviously you saw the RPG there is some nuance there is some you know you can explore it and um, you know see what what fits your play style and everything like that uh -huh. I think it's the weakest part of the game um, and I not really sure at this point, how much of it relies on the combat. Like, how much you have to engage with it. I mean, obviously, you have to engage with it. But, um... Yeah. Yeah, Lee, that's a, Lee, that's exactly what I was getting at. Is that it just I don't feel like they advertised the game that this actually is. Like if they had gone down the rabbit hole of like, hey, this is like a really cool vampire um, life is strange where you're gonna converse with people, you're gonna get to know them, and then you're gonna have to make decisions on who lives and who dies. I think that would have, at least for me, been a little bit more interesting. Like, it would feel like they were they weren't trying to sell. Um, I don't know. I, I I feel like they were trying to sell like a like maybe a deeper story version of Bloodborne or Dark Souls um, with a lot of the advertising. Motherfucker. Alright, got him. See, like, for me to say... I don't really want to be dealing with this combat and I'd rather be um, back at the hospital talking to people that's kind of crazy because I'm like usually the opposite I'm like well all gameplay I don't really care about the story I don't really care about characters and stuff like that um, but I'm actually kind of interested in seeing where some of these stories go in this game uh, so I guess take that for what it's worth. See, level 16, I'm not even gonna deal with these guys. Um, it's also a little windy, these... <laughs> I don't really consider... 
I feel like calling this an open world is also a little dubious. Um, it seems like there are really just these narrow streets you go down. And, um... Deal with these motherfuckers. Ow. This guy's a real bastard. See, he's got... So he's got the crossed swords there, which means he isn't immune, but he's very... Um... Now oh, he's doing this fucking block thing. Um... Melee attacks aren't doing a whole lot of damage to him. And he's got this mid-range shot. Like, this isn't fun. Sorry, this is not fun. I'm not having fun with this. I feel like he could get a cheap shot in at any moment. Like, kind of like that. Just like that. He's gonna kill me. I got no, no way to heal. And now... Um... Oh no, he, he isn't healing up all the way. Some of these guys have healed up when I've leashed them. Now I feel like that was cheap. Like, I... <laughs> took advantage of some sort of AI leash bug and just uh, got in a couple cheap hits and killed him. Like that whole encounter I felt like I wasn't really dodging because I was reacting to something. I always felt like I was just hitting the dodge button to make sure I wasn't um, just hopefully not getting hit. Um, yeah, this is locked. I cannot enter. What do we got here? What's the ranged combat options? Uh, well, I've got. I had that blood spear um, thing that that smoke. That I was sending out. Um, there are guns. Um, I don't know if I have a gun right now. Yeah, I do. Um, oh, here's a weird thing. So, down in the bottom left corner, you see I've got X and Y. So, this is X. This is Y. And then it's like, oh, you got the up and down on the D-pad. What's that do? Uh, absolutely nothing. It's actually left and right on the D-pad is what changes your weapons. Um, 
So I don't know if that's a UI bug or what. Uh, Cause up and down does nothing. But I haven't, I haven't used the pistol. Is that one, what's going on over here? Whoa. Okay, so pistol is stunned. It's not even damage. And stun lets me bite him. So this is a skull. This isn't this isn't a, a person. This is like a a lesser vampire as they're calling them. Hey, you can drink the blood of rats too and get a little power too. Have this thirst for blood. Okay, so here's a crafting station. Um, use it to cure six citizens during a dialogue. Um, use it to cure six. Okay, so um, fatigue, anemia, sepsis. Um, analyze things and get more, uh, regenerate 30 health, 300 health instantly, then 150 health points over 15 seconds. Um, that's pretty good. Regenerate 60 blood points instantly. You can upgrade weapons and stuff. Um, I'll try to find a, a person to shoot a gun at. Um, so I've been using, I think I'm using this guy. Can I level it up? Yeah, I can. Alright, cool. So that guy should be more powerful. I don't have enough to do that. Oh, so this is a safe place. I could rest here if I had enough XP to level up. Um, let's see. Okay, so it looks like these shots are going to be my up and down. Um... Keep hitting the wrong button on that. That's just that's just me doing that in every single game. Regenerate 60 blood points instantly, so that's up. That's not doing anything. Oops. That was down. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if there's any more dudes around here except for those high level guys. Come 
on here? Fuck it all. Stop it now, Albert. Stop it. Oh shit. Die in some piss stinking alley reeking worse than a weak old lavy. Are you all right? The bastard at the wall next to me. I don't even know if he meant to miss. If you've been hurt, I can help you. I'm a doctor. Name's Albert. Remember it. Now bugger off. What happened? Did you really steal that man's medication? Hey, I didn't do anything. It ain't me. All right. Perhaps the poor drunk just confused you with someone else. Sod off, mister. You ain't got no clue what's going on here. Bastard was a soldier in the war, so now he's got the right to shoot me. It's true. I'm not familiar with this part of town. Perhaps you could help me. I said sod off. Go find yourself another guide. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? If you know anything about her, I'd appreciate it. Never heard of her. She's pretty, I'll keep an eye out. Okay. Goodbye, young man. I won't end up another drunk arsehole in the streets. Not me. What? Shooting a boy in the middle of the street. Not the best thing to do, wouldn't you say? What? You saw what happened. Who are you? I'm Dr. Reed, and I'd like to ask you a few questions, if you promise me to set your gun aside. No. Look, I I'm not a violent man. I'm Benjamin Palmer, doctor. And no one can help me, not even you. Perhaps you could focus for a moment and tell me your troubles. I'm sick, broke, and my son just stole my pills. <laughs> Everything's coming up roses. What can you tell me about this place? Nothing to say, really. This is where I used to live, and this is where I live now. You don't have anywhere to go. No family that would welcome you. Not since the death of my wife. Albert's mother. She was sick, you see. Long before the flu and all this shit. You mean you used to have a better life? Yeah, I had a wife, a home, and a job. I even used to have a name. And now I'm just Ben. Ben the Tramp. Whatever the boy did, I'm sure he didn't deserve a public execution. I swear I didn't want to hit him. It's just that I'm sick in the end, you see, and the boy just, just faked me last nerve. What is it, Benjamin? It was the war, wasn't it? Your nerves are shot, aren't they? I need some answers, Private. From one soldier to another. The doctors call me a liar, a coward. Put me in a straight jacket, lock me up. Finally, they sent me back to the front lines with a handful of tablets. Yes. Sounds like shell shock. I've seen a few cases like yours. This is nothing you should be ashamed of, Benjamin. And it's perfectly natural in your situation. Not ashamed. I just need my pills. Peace and quiet, that's all. Okay. So I like the hint. A for... gun, alcohol, and a bad temper make a terrible cocktail, sir. Goodbye for now. Now I can go talk to this guy again. Because I unlocked the clue. How are you? I don't like I'm not your boy, all right? Now piss off.
caught it, did any? Maybe. Wait, so. Goodbye, young man. The wet boots will be proud of me. Or did I get the wrong dude? Benjamin Palmer. Albert Palmer. So Benjamin is the older one. Okay, so yeah, so I get two clues unlocked for him. So like this guy's got a brain, he's got a migraine, so he's gonna have 40% loss of blood quality. He's got 30%. So I guess I wandered into a new area. Good evening, miss. Good evening, sir. Are you interested in a miraculous cure for this unknown and deadly epidemic? Actually, I am. Then you have come to the right place. The famous Swanborough Cordial is all you need to help keep you in perfect health. Oh, really? Why didn't I hear about it during my studies? I'm Jonathan Reed, by the way. Dr. Jonathan Reed. Ah, my brother has spoken of your research, sir. I'm Loretta Swanborough, and it's always a pleasure to meet a fellow healer. I'd like to see what kind of medicine you're selling. Swanborough Cordial, the list of ingredients printed in Latin. This heading can be recycled into components. A small medical glass vial. Foros tartrate can be found in many cheap for it's pretty small text for me. Fortifiers for its invigorating properties. Alright, so tons of stuff here. You can sell stuff. I don't know if you could sell stuff to the other the vendors. The Swanborough Cordial can be the answer to all your problems. As long as you have the money. Wrong button again. Yeah, so I got, I got a whole new cast of characters to un, to talk to and figure out its effectiveness has been all the little ins and outs. I guess we'll uh, wrap it up here because I feel like I've kind of gone through just about everything. So like like I said, it had a weak start for me. Um, I was initially like, I don't know about this game. It seems kind of outdated. Um, combat and everything like that. Even the looks. Um, but once I got into the hospital and started talking to people and realizing that there's a very robust dialogue system and every character feels unique and fresh and they all kind of have like interweaving stories and everything like that I found that to be kind of interesting and that's like that's what's driving me forward here not the combat or even the overall story but just trying to figure out like who these people are and where their little stories are gonna go um, I'm still trying to figure out exactly how this world works like the open world and everything like that it really just seems like narrow corridors leading you to um, bigger open areas which to me calling that an open world is a little um, dubious there are locked doors there are um, places you can't go so um, not quite fully open and really in, in a lot of ways that's kind of like um, you know uh, soulsy bloodborne -y, where it's not really a huge open world you're just kind of going down corridors um, to bigger open areas. You gotta, you gotta keep an eye out for these little um, press A to um, kind of mist up into the 
Raptors. Um, yeah, so I guess that's going to do it for now. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to get the review done for Embargo. Just I just haven't had enough time to um, commit to the game. Um, commit to playing anything, really. Um, is this that 16 guy? I'm going to try to fight this guy. See what... Safe for gentlemen. Yeah, see, so, looks like at least this gun is only stun. Um, there's a little bit of, of damage, but not much. Their ranged weapons do a lot of fucking damage, and that's a bummer. Alright, so for level 16s, those guys really weren't that bad. They were doing a lot of damage, but I kind of kicked their ass. Um, I did just upgrade that weapon, so maybe that had a lot to do with it. Holy crap! Oh, shit. Oh, man, I just walked into a hell storm here. Whoa! I don't even know what the fuck this is. good okay well that's gonna do it um thanks for hanging out and hopefully that gave you an idea of what to expect from vampire um yeah <laughs>